What's going on YouTube, GSNower here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a must-have tweak for dopamine jailbreak, especially for those of you who want to block applications from being able to detect the jailbreak, and of course, bypass jailbreak detection altogether. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to repair the iOS system if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, black screen, reboot loop, and boot loop, and stuff like that. You can also enter for free in recovery mode or exit recovery mode, and of course, you can one-click reset your device. Check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So as you probably know, Dopamine 2 supports iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1 on A9 through A16 devices and M1 and M2. So a huge range of iOS versions supported depending on your device. Newer devices go up to iOS 16.5 or 16.5.1, but still quite a lot of devices supported. So this is a great, stable, well-maintained jailbreak. However, it does have a huge problem, the same problem that any other jailbreak would have. The fact that most applications nowadays are looking for the presence of the jailbreak break and they will actually try to block your access if you are jailbroken, not for a good reason, but just because they can. Now, many of those applications can actually be fixed with a video that I have, I made a couple of days ago, which was about vNode bypass, another tweak that you can use with dopamine. And even dopamine itself here in settings has an option to hide the jailbreak. Now that may work for some applications, but it may not be very effective for all of them. In this video, I'm going to show you a tweak that does work for many iOS applications and it will actually be a good alternative to vNode bypass if that doesn't work for you. And that would be Choicey, created by the same developer that made Dopamine, so OPA334. Now you go here in Cilio and you search for Choicey, so Choicey. And is this one over here available in the Big Boss repo, created by OPA334. All you have to do is to press get and to install it, so I'm going to press confirm over here. If you don't have them already, this will install Altlist, Lkit and Preference Loader. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for them to finish and this will probably require a reboot. So yeah, it does require a reboot the first time, which I'm going to do. All right, so one reboot later, we do have Cilio once again running. So we are jailbroken again with dopamine. And now we should be able to go here to settings and we should have an option to set the choicey tweak. So if you go ahead in here, you have choicey now, and this one allows you to essentially select applications or parts of the system that should not be interacted with in terms of jailbreaking. So if you have an application that doesn't like the fact that you are jailbroken, broken. Go here in applications, you find it, for example, let's say the files application, you can disable tweak injection and that's it. This means that no tweaks will try to inject in it, even the L kit will not be injected in it, so no tweak injection whatsoever, because many of these applications will try to find if you tampered with them in any way. For example, you added tweak injection. Now, tweak injection normally comes as a library, so that library gets injected into the applications so that other tweaks can be injected as well. And applications can try to find that out. It they can try to see if they do have that injected. And this disables exactly that. And you can do so for essentially all applications until they do work as expected. Now, in terms of settings in here, aside from being able to customize each application individually to disable tweaks in them, we have additional executables. So you can set a one in here. We can add the path if you want a specific binary to not be injected into. Then you have Springboard if you want to disable Springboard tweaks. Now, on the app options, you have Launch Without Tweaks option and Launch With Tweaks option. So that is for 3D touch. You can go ahead in here and for example, I can hold on the files application. We have the option for launch with tweaks. So if I do that, it will launch the application with tweak injection enabled. If you want to have it without tweak injection, then you can uh, essentially enable the other one. And for tweak troubleshooting, you have LK2 and preference loader over here. Yeah, it says in here that choice, it does not seem to impact the uh, dialogues installed by this package. No action needs to be done. But if you have issues with tweaks not working properly, you can come and try to troubleshoot them here. So that's basically it. This is a good alternative to vNode bypass. You may even try to use them uh, at the same time and they might complement each other quite well. But yeah, these are the best options right now for iOS 16, 16.6.1, .6 iOS 15, for dopamine jailbreak, for Pelrain jailbreak, Shina A15, in order to bypass jailbreak detection. So thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.